Hi guys, welcome back to another quick uh, video where I show you uh, basics when it comes to creating your own forex robots, turning your own trading strategy into a forex robot without paying anybody, without uh, learning programming, without doing any programming. You can basically turn your own trading strategy into a forex robot using uh, one of these ea builders uh, that we have here it's called uh, fx uh, dreamer it's called fx dreamer so today's uh, strategy we are going to use the bollinger bands strategy with awesome oscillator and i'm going to just show you how easy it is to turn this strategy into a forex robot if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing so that you don't miss miss any of our future videos go ahead and like the video see the links in the description box below if you are looking for forex courses forex indicators forex robots indicators books and stuff like that that you might also need in your own art trading everything that we do on this channel is for free including the knowledge that we are sharing with you guys everything is for free okay uh, I apologize uh, I had a list of videos that I needed to complete uh, so uh, the guys that are asking me questions in comments uh, in the comment section of videos it's not like I am ignoring you totally uh, the thing is I, I have a, a long list of uh, videos that I need to complete first and then I also try to also come back and answer all your questions uh, so uh, just bear with me i'm not ignoring you or anything like that so again the purpose of these videos is to give you the basics of what you probably need to do what you probably need to be looking at here when it comes to creating your own forex uh, robots no coding no programming no paying anybody uh, money everything doing it by yourself for free okay so let's look at this uh, strategy uh, and what it involves so it's basically a bollinger band awesome oscillator based uh, strategy it's very easy that's what they say is very easy uh, to find uh, signals with this uh, strategy so basically uh, let's see blah 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 they've got a whole lot of stuff that they are saying there and let's get to uh, the meat of uh, the story so basically what they are saying is the market price needs to break uh, the middle line the middle line of uh, the Bollinger Bands from lower to high so if we are looking for a buy if we are looking for a buy we need price to first break the middle line of the bollinger bands from lower to the higher band and then at the same time all uh, the awesome oscillator needs to turn green bar or above the zero line at the same time this needs to happen this must happen and this must happen and this must happen let me just uh, open this in a new tab so that it's clear so price needs to be above the middle line of the bollinger band it needs to cross above and then the awesome oscillator also needs to cross above the zero line then we know that we have a buy signal so let's uh, do that uh, in fx streamer so basically we are going to be working on on the on tick section and we are going to basically start with my filters uh no trade you already know uh there's no need for me to waste time explaining uh, uh these things if you're new uh, i apologize uh just uh watch uh, the rest of the videos on this channel you get the sense of why we do what we do then uh time filters we are just going to go once uh paper and we're going to link it uh, nicely like that then we're going to go for conditions and if i'm moving too fast i apologize i'm trying to make this video as short as possible because this is so simple you don't need to spend the whole day doing this this is so simple uh, if i'm moving too fast i'll rewind the video then everything will make sense so we're going to go into conditions we're going to set our conditions so the first condition is price needs to break above the bollinger band middle line so we're just going to go indicator oh sorry uh, we are going to go for candle we want a candle we want the candle to close we and we want the candle to be the previous candle candle one 
Candle zero is the current candle that you are looking at that is still open, that is not yet closed. So we want, uh, we are going to use the recently closed uh, candle that is called candle one. And it needs to be above or it needs to cross over. It needs to cross over, across, across above uh, Bollinger Bands. We are going to use default settings because we are not given any uh, settings in this scenario. So we are going, just going to use default settings. Feel free to play around with all these settings. Uh, you can change these settings to whatever you want really. Uh, change them to whatever you want. Then we are going to use middle line. Middle line, that's what they want that we use the middle line so we are going to use the middle line there nothing to do there uh, then we just uh, update second condition is awesome oscillator needs to cross above the zero line then we come back again we take uh, second conditions which is uh, awesome oscillator we link it like that double click and go in there and indicator we are going to choose the awesome oscillator which needs to cross above uh, the zero line zero line we are going to use a value and we are going to set it at a zero and we are going to update then we are going to simply come here and take our buy block and we're going to link everything nicely like uh, uh, that and we're going to double click in there you can set whatever load size that you want to set and uh, the take profit and stop loss they said uh, what did they say regarding uh, stop loss and take profit uh, that traders would get around 50 to 60 pips so I usually want uh, a 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio. So if uh, they say the target is 60, 50 to 60 pips, then probably we are going to set our uh, uh, stop loss at 30 pips, then our TP at 60 for a 1 is to 2 risk to reward uh, ratio then we say update then i'm not going to start afresh i'm just going to copy this and right click and copy and right click and paste and i'm going to link it like that and i'm going to go in here and just uh, turn this to look the other way and we are going to say that's for our cell where is the cell the cell is here open in a new tab this is the conditions for our cell so we are just going to flip the switch backwards here we again going to just flip it like that and we update and then we take our cell now block and we link it like that or oh, you can use pending orders uh, but i love i love market execution uh, that's just me it's just a pref uh, preference you can use uh, pending orders but i prefer uh, uh, market execution and we just set our one is to two risk to reward ratio uh, like that and we're going to update and that's basically uh, it about this uh, the, there's a, a video already on this channel about using trailing stops uh, i'm not going to waste time going into that and then you find a fancy name for your robot um, what do we call it uh, bb uh, uh bollinger bands awesome oscillator ea is now looking like babao babao ea so people would, will call it the babao ea but it's basically bollinger bands or some oscillator ea so people will call it the babao ea then what's left to do is to download the source code as well as the executable uh, file that's it about turning this strategy into a forex robot easy peasy i'm hoping that these videos they are giving you ideas of what to do so they say this strategy works on uh, h4 time frame 
uh, M30 and M H1 for scalping and it works on all pairs. I, I don't know if uh, the strategy is profitable. Some people ask me uh, we want profitable strategies. So I don't know if it's profitable. I'm just showing you how to turn it into a Forex robot. If it works for you, uh, then uh, hooray. If it doesn't, I, I don't know. Uh, but the, ba the idea with these videos is to show you how easy it is to turn your own strategies into Forex robots without paying anybody, without doing any coding, without doing any hard work. Guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.